Welcome to Chemistry with Mr. Olson. Today we're doing the titration lab calculations. And um, I think the best explanation of titration would be a short video that I have, uh, which shows how we uh, find. In a regular titration, we use this wonderful thing called a, bi a burette, and it allows us to see how much we add of one solution. It's a very long, long graduated cylinder where we can let uh, liquid out the bottom. This is open and flowing. This is where it stopped. So let's see that in the video. With no further ado, here we go. Quantitative addition of a solution of known concentration to one of unknown concentration resulting in a chemical reaction is called titration. Acid-based titrations are among the most common when a standard sodium hydroxide solution is added to a hydrochloric acid solution, the neutralization reaction occurs. A pH meter is employed to measure the acidity of the solution. To illustrate, let's add 0.100 molar base to precisely 50 milliliters of a 0.100 molar acid solution. The pH increases slowly at first. As the amount of base added approaches that required for complete neutralization, that is the stoichiometrically equivalent amount, the pH begins to increase more rapidly. The last few drops of added base change the pH from about 3 to 7. The pH is 7 when precisely 50 milliliters of base have been added. We are then at the equivalence point, or end point, at which the stoichiometric amount of base required to neutralize the acid has been added. Addition of one drop of NaOH beyond that needed to neutralize the acid causes the pH to increase from 7 to about 10. Thus, the endpoint of the titration can be determined with high precision. Okay, so let's come back out and uh, let's do our lab. In our lab, we ironically start with part one, and here's part one. Um, in the, the sample data, the sample data, you have 44 drops. So go ahead and write that in if you don't have data, 44 drops. And you're going to do your own calculation. I'm going to use a different number of drops, um, 49 drops in my example. And our calculation is the volume in milliliters per drop. Well, let's put the milliliters. Remember, we use two milliliters, 2.0 milliliters divided by milliliters per drop. Well, we had 49 drops. So let's do the math. And if you take out your calculator and do, I do it, it comes out to 0 0.0408. Yours should be similar, but different. And that the units of this is milliliters per drop. Next, we calculate the liters per drop. That's a factor of a thousand difference. But I'm going to use a uh, conversion factor to do it. I love conversion factors. I'm going to get out of milliliters and into liters. What numbers make that work? Well, one liter is the same thing as 1,000 milliliters. So milliliters cancels milliliters, and we get, we're left with liters per drop, which is what we wanted. Doing the math, that comes to 0 0.0000408, don't forget the units, liters per drop. So that is our conversion factor that we're going to use throughout to go from liters per drop, drops per liters. And let's now go to part two. Part two, what is the molarity of acid in vinegar? In this experiment, we choose a number of drops between 10 and 15. To make sure I'm using uh, a different number, I'm going to choose a different number. But your sample data, if you don't have data, your sample data is 14 drops. So use that. When you do the titration, it's going to change color at 20 drops. But I'm going to do the calculation with different numbers. And let's see, my name is Mr. Olson. And my uh, number of drops 
It's going to be 16, which no one should have picked. 16 drops. And how do I get out of drops into acid? We're presented with this calculation right away. Well, I'm going to do it with a conversion factor. Times, and I'm going to get out of drops into liters. What was that number? I remember it. 0 0.000. Uh, four zeros. Zero, four, zero, eight liters per drop. Liters per how many drop? Liters per one drop. Okay, and then drops cancels drops. And we say equals, and we get the number. Put that in calculator, we get 0 0.000. .000 Six five three liters. There's our liters of acid in our 16 drops. It's a small number of liters. Um, all right, and our base drops. Uh, you had a different number, but my number is 25. I like to switch colors so things don't run together. 25 drops. Once again, we need to do this conversion. So we're going to multiply by a conversion factor out of drops into liters, 0 0.0000408 liters per drop. Multiply that, and we'll get a slightly vo larger volume of base. So our base was more dilute. Um, so we multiply that out, and we get the answer, which is 0 0.00102 liters of base, liters of base. Okay, molarity of the acid. The molarity of the acid is, takes a little bit of work and question 11 guides us through it. We're going to first write the balanced chemical equation and then in 11a, compute the moles of base, 11b, compute the moles of acid, 11c, compute the molarity of the acid. We need each of these steps to make our way through. So the reaction is, um, let's see, acetic acid is the vinegar plus NaOH is the base. React to form swap partners H2O plus sodium acetate H3O2. And that, in fact, is balanced. How do we compute the moles of base? Well, I know molarity equals moles over liters, so Moles equals liters times molarity equals substitute the liters of base, 0 0.00102 liters times the molarity, 0 0.50, uh, 0.50 moles per liter. Why do I write that out? So I can cancel and see explicitly that I get the um, liters. So that comes out to... 0.00051 moles of NaOH. How do, now I've got that answer, but I want the moles of acid. I use the BCE. I just create a conversion factor. One mole of this reacts with one mole of that. Very simple calculation. So I get out of moles of NaOH into moles of acid. I'm just going to call this acid. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So my units cancel. And I'm getting the number of moles of acid, which I'll just I write equals, and it's the same number, 0 0.00051 moles of acid. All right. Now I'm ready for, that's 11B. I'm ready for 11C. The molarity, OK, molarity equals moles per liter equals the moles of acid. There's the moles of acid. 0 0.0051 moles of acid over the liters of acid. Well, I've got that right there. 0 0.000653 liters. Plug that into the calculator, and I get an answer. What is my answer? 0 0.781 molar uh, acid, I like to be fancy when I write out the official thing, C2H3O2, that's the actual acid we're talking about. Box our answer, and we write it in the box. Seven, uh, 0 0.781 molar uh, acid. 
Now, of course, your numbers will be different, but presumably similar. And your average, well, we've only got one, so the average would be the same. Okay, let's jump to part um, C, part three, part three. We're not going to fully do it, but we'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, sample data, your sample data is 12 drops of acid, uh, the sulfuric acid you started with, and you put in the indicator, and you noticed it changed, cha after 18 drops of base, it changed color. So that's your data. I'm going to uh, talk about different data. Uh, so my data, I started with uh, 17 drops, and of course, I will want to convert that out of drops into liters using the conversion factor before, like before. And I saw a color change after adding 24 drops of base. Once again, we're going to convert that out of drops into liters using the right conversion factor. How do I get the moles of base, molarity of the base? Well, I use step 15. And let's quickly, um, let's see, what would that be? Acid plus base. Well, we see the acid here is the sulfuric acid. So that's H. 2SO4 plus the base is NH4OH. React to form, swap partners, H2O plus ammonium sulfate. Ammonium is plus one, NH4 plus. So actually, NH4-2SO4. That's our BCE. And uh, how do we get the moles of acid? Well, once again, we know molarity equals moles over liters. So moles equals liters times molarity equals, and we substitute. We substitute, get our value. Use the BCE to convert. Oh, by the way, I haven't balanced the equation. Let's see. We need two ammoniums on this side. And we've got two H pluses plus two OH minuses makes two waters. Now it's balanced. So actually converting the moles of acid to the moles of base is interesting because it's a two to one ratio. And then finally, with the calculation of the molarity of the base, molarity equals moles per liter equals substitute an answer. That's our calculation. I hope that helps and uh, have a beautiful evening. All right, bye-bye. Ta-ta.